What's up, y'all? This is Daniel. And this your boy, Damo. Oh, oh. And this your boy, Levante. And this is the Born Leader Wrestling Podcast. Uh, AEW news, nigga news. <laughs> Shelton Benjamin um, expected to sign AEW. You know, since uh, what's his name came MVP. Oh, Moss is, uh, is free agents too, huh? Huh? Oh, Moss is he? No, he's not. Oh, he's, he's still he's still on the contract. He just over there, nigga. He's just collecting a check. Yeah. AEW could drop announcement of Warner Brothers Discovery deal this week. Uh, Swerve strictly regrets. I don't know if y'all seen that when he was talking to uh, Flip, mm-hmm. Queens Flip. He didn't know the camera was on him, so he he regrets that he um, accidentally leaked that Fox AEW was talking to deal with Fox. Yeah. So he was telling he was telling um, Queens Flip like, yeah, we got we got the uh, Fox deal going. Um, Tony Khan let me do whatever I want. Like he was <laughs> just talking shit, yeah, big talking shit. I and didn't know the camera was right there. Like what the fuck. And the queen flip was like, "Okay, nigga, I don't care." Yeah, that's how he was looking. Uh, he a- knew. He knew. Who? Swerve. He knew. He knew the camera was on. Yeah, yeah. Like he said that shit. I think that was all the setup. Yeah, because because able talk shit about Tony Khan. Let me do <laughs> whatever I want to do. Shit. Uh, yeah, we say that shit. AEW is set for a partnership, upcoming partnership with a new video game project. Because I guess Nooks, Nooks, whatever. Nooks, Nooks. They fucked up with AEW Fight Forever, so they like fuck that. We want a new That's partner. Nukes and THQ, right? Yeah, yeah. So they looking for a new partner deal for the new video game. Yeah, they kind of did that on purpose because they might go to EA. They could do better over there. Yeah, EA is the only person I think that would actually because they can't go to two K, of course. So what's two K competitions? EA. Yes. EA never had wrestling. It don't matter. It does. It can't be no worse than Nukes. Nukes had wrestling. That shit was trash. Well, Nukes so had wrestling. Back. Nukes had wrestling back in the day. Nukes had wrestling back in the day, and then on top of that, just a little history. Remember the last W? I, t- I sent it in the group chat. Come to find out, that last wrestling that was supposed to come out for WCW ended up being <laughs> Def Jam. Yeah, Vendetta. Yeah, and I was like, I mean, back in the day, they had it, but as of right now, take them from. Nintendo 64 and put them on PlayStation 5. Nigga, what the fuck? That's a huge fucking difference. But you know, they said that when WWE 2K, when 2K20 bombed, when it was trash, that one that was trash, that WWE was going to go to EA. And oh, then they gave them a second chance with 2K and then they ended up selling a lot of copies for 2K21. So EA does not make good games. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> NBA Live was trash, but it's kind of like what Man other trash? What other place can you? I mean, I'm not a big video game type company person, so I don't know other companies. But only what come to mind is like 2K, uh, EA, Square, Soft. But they made yeah. like Final Fantasy shit, so yeah. it's like Rockstar. Rockstar, Rockstar can't United. do no fuck wrestling game. They Why don't they go can't. fuck with. First of all, Rockstar make all their money with Grand Theft Auto. They don't need another. They don't need nothing. Yeah, no, they got no. they got they got Grand Theft and they got Red Dead Redemption. Here's his, 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 his the reason here's the reason why you can get a great continuous continuous storyline. You can get a like great graphics. You can get everything. A game that's gonna last. Uh, if they was to do it, they modernize the game where they don't have to make another game for five fucking years because it keeps the fucking updating. Yeah. It, it, if you if they're smart, they'll go figure out Rockstar. Yeah, but I don't think Rockstar wants to take on another. Cause let's just say they do take on that. They like my money maker is fucking Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. We could put this shit on hold. Like so that means the rest of the game won't get that attention. It won't get that attention. I mean, like, shit, you, at the same a, time, they still Rockstar still put out games, but it's just they don't get the attention. But you look at look at Red Dead Redemption Two. That shit bombed. That shit was trash because they wasn't putting attention into it. Yo, so do GTA you think they Six go, was supposed to come out this year? It's not coming out to two thousand thirty. I think AEW would be dumb to go to Rockstar because they're not gonna fucking care about. Fucking wrestling game. <laughs> they like, nigga, we know. got Grand Theft. Shit, Grand Theft ain't been out in 10, 20 years. Yeah. And they making they all their money. I the know, new I'm one's coming out next month. Yeah, your I mean, best bet is EA Sports. It is coming push out next back. year. It wasn't pushed back. Nigga, it, nigga it's always getting pushed back. But it's I'm saying next, it, it don't have a date. It just say next year. Well, what, GTA? Yeah, six. Man, that shit got pushed back <laughs> like a hairline, nigga. Nigga, y'all niggas tripping. It don't have a, it can't get pushed back because it don't have a date. It just say next year. When they say that, 
last, last year. year. <laughs> <laughs> no, they said, yeah, they said last year. They always said 2025. It always been that. It never been a date. It never been like December. Like, so it's impossible to get pushed back. Let's say, say it's coming out 2026. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It got pushed back like that. No, nigga, that shit would have been on everywhere. Shit, them niggas got a whole bunch of fucking games. They got more than just that, but shit. But that, they got, I know they got a fucking club. What's that shit? Racing game. They got a well, lot of they shit. They got games, but. But nobody knows them. That's what. That's the whole argument we saying. We only know about Grand Theft Auto. The only, they got the only place club. AEW will go is probably EA Sports because no, nobody else is going to take a, a wrestling game. Unless they make the little indies. They find a little indie spot that. Man, cause they have the AEW have the fans. They just need a good developer. Who game. did? Who did Attitude and Warzone? Just go to them. <laughs> they did THQ. THQ. They ain't THQ. Yes, it is. Oh no, it was uh, Acclaim. Acclaim. Yeah. Go to Acclaim. Acclaim. They ain't pick them up. That's not even out no more. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Shit. Nobody will see that goddamn game anyway. Uh, NXT news. So a fish. They got the official. So WWE. They nigga. They going. They going straight nigga. So they have, um, <laughs> they, they, they have fucking, um, no, they had uh, Megan Thee Stallion first with SmackDown. Now the a the NXT um, theme song is Million Millions from Now by Two Chains and Lil Wayne. And I heard Future is about to be in the pay per view. Bad Blood. No, so Future and Metro theme song is for yeah. Bad Blood. Oh, oh nigga. They theme song. They sing, no champions, but y'all, we going straight nigga. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's ATL, so. Yeah. He's not going to be there, but that's the theme song for Bad Blood. But this theme song for the, the 2 Chain Lil Wayne, that's every weekend. Yeah. Like, that's like their theme song for every week. Ain't, Car- ain't Nikki got something going to? Maybe. Didn't they pick no, Nikki up? Cardi got, um, she did the, um. She did the um venue, the commercial with Bianca Cardi B. Oh yeah, yeah. And she called her. And she said, like, "I got two words: SummerSlam." She said, "I think that's just one." <laughs> uh, Shawn Michaels um, showed everybody the new N- NXT Championship belts. I don't like them. I like them. Yeah, they look better than the old ones. I might get the NXT belt. Yeah, that that one looked all black. Yeah, nigga, that shit look like the UFC belts uh, with NXT on it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, shout out to I thought they were gonna come next week, but Bianca and Jade end up coming this week, which was last yesterday. Man, this is recording. Ooh, they came out and saved. Well, they didn't save, but she yeah, announced Kalani. it. Kalani came out and said, "I got two people that can help me." And then they came out. That should have been ended. That should have ended like that. Three black sexy women standing in the ring. I didn't like. I, it's not. I didn't like. I, I didn't like. It's crazy. But Kalani, take that goddamn belt off when you do your goddamn drop kick. Bianca and Jay took their belt off, fuck some shit up. You got out the ring, didn't even chase the other bitch down. You just out the ring looking, waiting till you come in. Hey, you, you drop kick. I don't this know. This is the second week you hate on black women. That's crazy. No, I hate on black women all the time. <laughs> Damn, that, that's crazy. You went all the way to Black women and Gunther. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and roll ups. <laughs> roll ups. Like, fuck <laughs> Kamala Harris. <laughs> She's not even black, nigga. <laughs> oh, she might be Indy Hartwell. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> hey, 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 come on, man. Stupid. Hey, yo, yeah, hey. Sometimes you go too far. <laughs> We're all ha ha about the other shit, but then you go to Indy Hartwell, nigga. I thought she would go. Hopefully, she come next week. They come. They come back next week. Well, Bianca, Hartwell? No, Bianca and Jay, because that's good. They got sexy red and stuff next week. Oh, that would go crazy. Yeah, that's what? why I thought it was next week. But hey, whatever. Hey, yeah, NXT is nigga. Man, trick because Trick Wheels in the winning title back. Yeah. Um, but I need Trick to come up with another finisher. I don't like the trick shot. Yeah, it's, it's a big ass kick. I mean, a big ass uh, a knee. Yeah. yeah, I like that more than uh, Carmelo. That nothing but net. That nigga jump off. But at least he jump off the fucking uh, top rope. How long are you gonna be able to do that shit, nigga? That shit ridiculous, yeah. nigga. Can you imagine jumping off the top rope with a leg drop, nigga? Look at uh, Hulk Hogan just did the little leg drop from right there, and his back already fucked Nigga up. Nigga had like 35 <laughs> surgeries with that shit. But That's I mean, crazy. like, what's the alternative? Like, what else can they, like, what do you see, like, a Trick Williams finisher to be? A roll up? A clothesline from hell. Oh, a, a, a good clothesline? Yeah. That'd be tight. Um, CM Punk surprised everybody with pizza. So, anybody that went there and they walked out after the match, after the. Um, uh, show they got free pizza. What's one though? 
Nigga, I don't know, nigga. This nigga that, news, not that like direct. That motherfucker, <laughs> Chicago pizza, yeah. deep dish pizza. Well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he got to he got to connect with the pizza place. I wonder if they got actual pizza or like vouchers for some free pizza because that's a whole lot of pizza. No, he probably bought the show. I mean, they he probably, probably did a deal. Pies. Yeah, no, it was a little, yeah, it was a little circle ones. Yeah, yeah. small yeah. ones, personal. Yeah, he did a little deal with them. Like nigga, we go shout you out, nigga. This CW. Uh, that's another thing, right? Real fast. I thought I was gonna be able to watch the shit live. But I forgot it's fucked up because it's on it's on regular TV. Mm-hmm. So usually I'd be able to watch it on the East Coast time because it's cable. Yeah. But Fox, even with Fox, they had an app where you can like watch East Coast time on the app. Yeah. CW don't have that on their app. So, you, so I can't watch it live. I have to wait till eight o'clock. You better get you a VPN. And that's why I never I didn't even watch it. I just watched the fucking so every week I just gotta watch YouTube. Yeah. Or catch up on X. Damn, damn. That's the first one I can't watch, yeah. So that's true. Man, I don't even paying for that shit. VPN's free. Not the good ones. You gotta pay for those. No. Where you can change your fucking area, or whatever. Change yeah. it to New York. That one's free. Um, WWE news real fast. Logan Paul and his girlfriend or wife, I don't know if they married, but they had a first date. They got their first kid kid together. What the fuck did you say first? I said Logan Paul and his partner, his and girlfriend, his first <laughs> had his first kid together. <laughs> their first kid together. Congratulations, Logan. You're a rich motherfucker. Kanye West was appeared in um, Pro Man, Wrestling yeah. Japan. This event, that was so weird. That nigga was out there just chilling in the fucking crowd. It ain't weird. That just means something about to happen. Them Yeezy boots about to be. <laughs> something about, to, about to put Yeezy wrestling boots. Yep. Was, I think it was called Nova. I think they heard Noah. Noah Wrestling. Yeezy about to bring back the NWO. <laughs> All Yeezy. Uh, the Miz tapped out on his L.A. house. So he, back in the day, I don't remember. What, I don't know what year he bought it, but it was like a while ago. He only paid one point five for it. He's selling it right now for twelve million. So that's a big come Get up. Get that money, man. I think it was back when Total D was because that's when he was filming. He was yeah. in L.A. So it must have been like nigga down there. Two thousand ten, two thousand twelve. Yeah. So that's a come up. Uh, WWE Hall of Famer. Pete Rose passed away at 83. Damn. Wait, baseball player too? Yeah. It, well, he was known for baseball, but he ended up, he was the one that got tombstone by Kane and all that shit. Oh, shit. All time leading score, I mean, uh, in hits. Yeah. Pete Rose. Cincinnati Reds, I believe. WWE goes to two hour start next week. Oh, next week? It's next week, yeah. So I guess they go back to three. When, when Netflix come. Yeah. Is that just one or both of them? It's just Raw. Raw's going Smackdown to two. Be three. Smackdown. They haven't decided when Smackdown is going to three. But as of right now, they both could be two hours. That's oh, a- we about to have some boring-ass fucking wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> this shit about to be boring as yeah, fuck. Yeah, as of right bro. now, it's two hours. I don't think Smackdown will go to three until Raw goes to Netflix. Mm-hmm. So I think as of October on to J- January... They both could be two hours. These storylines about to be trash as fuck. <laughs> Either you gonna get two things, three matches, and a whole bunch of storylines, or five matches and no, no storylines. Story yeah. <laughs> Unless they, the only way they can do it, they can have a lot of matches. Well, have matches, but build their storylines like on like which I'll be watching like the backstage shit. Yeah, have that like or or or, or X. They might be using the the CW. And 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 doing a lot of their storylines heading over there, and, and doing the NXT shit, it, it just for temporarily. Could, or they might go to the old school format where the whole show gonna be about one big storyline and have a lot of small ones. What I don't get is they own well not not a network, but they have WWE Network where they can have they own they could put another show on the network where you can watch that show until January, like. Put some extra shit on that show, yeah. Where you can build storylines, but they don't use they don't use the network like they used to do. Like before the Peacock deal, they had all kind of different shit on the network. Now that shit barely have any content. I shut that shit down too. <laughs> Dragon all got injured in a Gunther match. He's gonna be out for six to nine months. Yeah, he tore with ACL or some shit. Some shit like that. Yeah, that nigga miss WrestleMania. That's the shit that like will fuck me up if, if I got called up to the main roster and I get injured like that. Mm-hmm. 
Like all your momentum is gone. But it, so somebody like Dragonoff, the momentum is gone. But then you have a storyline waiting when you come back, and what it is, he come back and say nobody charm checked on me. They left me out for dead. I could be the hill Dragonoff. You also come out and say, oh, I'm coming out here and interfere and take on order over the hills of me and be the biggest baby face. It's not necessarily dead because he's not going off with a bad star. Like, Chad Gay will get hurt right now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> but dragging off, he has a angle when he comes back because Gunther still is going to be there. Fucking Carmelo Hayes is still going to be there. I think sometimes a, a, a break is good. I just think that him missing, him missing uh, WrestleMania is bad. Like, even though was, huh? I don't think he was gonna be on WrestleMania. He, they put everybody on WrestleMania. It's two nights. They got they He was gonna be in some kind of like battle royal fucking letter match. That's the but for him for us it's like we don't care. For him that's a big that's a payday, yeah. nigga. Look, Survivor, anytime Survivor you put on, series, anytime you Rumble, get, yeah. anytime you get put on WrestleMania, it's a payday. That shit. No matter what you're doing, yo, yeah. he gonna do pop ups, nigga. He'll he, come back he, at back up there, pop up, popping up. Limping and shit, but he's gonna be all right. I get what you're saying, but I don't see too many. I don't see him even having a storyline by then. But JBL believes Triple H is the only one that could take over Vince's place. Well, Triple H, Triple H took over in 2000, what, one and two? He's been running the show since then. Of course, it's gonna be Triple H. Well, JBL, stop telling what you believe in act and tell us what the fuck you been doing. Like you giving ain't... niggas clothes lines and walking out with the hat on, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> what the fuck you been doing, nigga? Knocking like... niggas out <laughs> 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 on every fucking show. TNA, WWE, he everywhere. He might be a Seven Eleven. Be careful. <laughs> this nigga stupid. <laughs> They're doing this shit. <laughs> Ready to hit somebody. Um, I cut the shit real fast. We're going to old girl from the party girls. Um, Mass, yeah, Chance. She did a backstage. They was backstage and they did an uh, interview, and she was all hyped up, like, "Let me go, let me go." I forgot. It was a yeah. uh, um, who came up to her. Fuck, I'm trying to think who the fuck came. It was t- some females. Like, I forgot who came up to her, but oh, she it was. was a, it was a tag even, team, wasn't even it? Even yeah, yeah, there you yeah. go. And she was acting like acting like scrappy dude, like let me go, yeah. <laughs> oh, doing the bush. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, bro, relax. Like, <laughs> first of all, you're a bad actress because that was horrible, and you got a mask on. Like, you should be the one to be like, all right, you fight for me or something. But whatever, George, she get my cut the shit. She should have fell into the darkness. She is Batwoman. <laughs> Who's here? Who y'all cut the shit? I cut the shit. One of them is the ending to that fucking documentary. <laughs> that bitch of man, Doctor Reddy, ended trash. I'm trying to. Oh no, it was it was cool. The ending. See, the fact that you said it was cool, I know it ended trash because that shit was like nigga. Like I thought it was gonna be some juicy shit at the end or something. Like that shit was just like. I mean, you it wasn't gonna be no juicy shit because it's still an ongoing case. Can't be no juicy shit. That's what everybody kept thinking. Like yeah. it was gonna be like, oh, well, juicy shit. How they um delivered it? it? Like before, oh yeah, Miss McMahon is, is going to just like bring some shit up. It's going to, like let us know what's really going on. Only thing we learned is that he probably fucked his mama. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's, it. That's, oh. that's the only juicy shit that could be true. Yeah, his mama molested. Him. Yeah, some incest mm-hmm. shit. Other than that, nigga, we knew this nigga was like this. The monster on screw job. We know. No, it's a, it was a lot of good stuff in there. That's why I want to do a whole show. I don't really. Well, want. We could go, through, but the tr- the ending was not was not it. Cause y'all was looking for like the whole. They, I mean, that's how they supposed to do. They supposed to pump it up so y'all go watch it. But I knew that, it wasn't but, gonna but be then, that. But then then it takes that ratings down because you bumped it up. And then you just Man. they already got the range. Yo, though. you watched it. They gave us. They, <laughs> they gave, gave us. Job. Like the stars. I'm the not... only thing they did was give a backstage commentary on what we already knew about. That was it. No, uh, the documentary was good because you never seen Vince like that. Like you never got to see Vince talk about himself or talk about the business. That was a great documentary, and I think people. The reason why people they don't think it was a good documentary because they went in thinking about the sex trafficking and all this stuff that that's going on, which they couldn't talk about because it's still an ongoing type thing. They can't get into it. But when you take all that away and you look at 
the Vince McMahon shit. Like, I got emotional when they were talking about Shane McMahon. That was my best no, part. No. When Shane McMahon returned and he yeah. got that big pop and he was like, damn, and then he jumped off the hell in the cell and his dad, he was like, all I wanted you to do was be proud of me. Like, Vince yeah. never said he was proud. Vince never hugged him. And Vince was like, yeah, I could have did better with Shane. Like, shit like that, I was like, I was loving. Yeah, because... But y'all was going yeah. into like, oh, the juicy shit. Yes, fuck the juicy no, shit. No, 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 no. I was loving that. This nigga said, nigga, I'm, nigga, I don't give a fuck about these business people. Nigga, I'm taking over this. I'm taking over that. Fuck what my dad say. He can go. He can go. He can go to hell too. And all like that's the shit I was looking yeah, for. But did you know that shit already? No, you didn't know about Vince taking over the territories. I didn't know, but you didn't. You didn't hear it from Vince's mouth. Like you oh, didn't I, hear yeah. it from the person. Right, so this, this, you just heard it from like other people so saying this, it. This is my problem. It's not even that I'm looking for the juicy shit. It's the base of how they portrayed it and how they sold it. Now what they did. So this was shot before all this shit happened. Yeah, that's a, a shot before they come out with a story that Vince is trying to buy the documentary so secrets won't go out. It's stories that oh this and that we get it. We know the lawsuits. We know all that shit or whatever. I feel the ending could have been better. That's all I'm saying. Everything else you saying in in the shit was good. It was a dope mockumentary up until the ending. That's why I didn't say the documentary was trash. I said the ending was trash. I mean, but they... I was specifically talking it's about... It's not an ending, though, because it is technically... Because technically... They come back with another episode? They can come back with a whole another season. They so could, they could end they it like that. They say they have to wait till the trial shit is over. They can come with a whole another Vincent Man documentary if they want to. But if this is the end, hypothetically, because as of right now, it's painted as the end. Mm -hmm. If this is the end, and this is the end of this. So what were you looking for as the end? Um, I was something better. I don't know what. <laughs> it's not, no, okay, so, it's nothing else you could get to. What, it's what I was better. looking for was, why did this man want this not to be aired? That's what I wanted to see because nothing on there was something that was something we, we didn't bad. know. Like, All that shit because was... It painted, because Vince was saying certain things that's like, the way... They portrayed Vince while he was like Vince was saying it himself. Like Vince was Vince was fucking up by saying when he when the shit first started, he said, Oh, I can't tell you, I can't tell you the truth about myself. Yeah. Like, nigga, this is a documentary. So you saying that you can't tell all the stories and everything the truth about the stories, and then this shit is going on in sex traffic and shit, it makes you look bad. Like you saying, Oh, I can't tell you the stories about what's hap what happened back then, like the true stories. So basically, you saying this shit happened. That's how people was looking at it. Yeah. So shit like that. Shit like he showed that he was a lot of we he weasled out a lot of shit. He showed that. It's that, but I'm just saying the ending it could have been better. I hey Tony I, a complete. I watched complete. I watched documentary. Like one thing, my thing on Netflix is to do is to watch documentary. But see, they focused on the wrong person. Mm -hmm. What that showed to me, don't go to Vince. You go to Tony Atlas. Tony yeah. Allen gonna tell you all the shit. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that nigga gonna tell you everything. Yeah. That nigga said, that nigga, that nigga Vince said, I love my dad. And he was like, he, his dad passed away. He was like, yeah, I love my dad. He was everything. He was a lot to me. He showed me the bitches, blah, blah, blah. The next thing, Tony Allen, Tony Allen, I don't think he loved his dad at all. <laughs> that's the shit I'm talking about. Like, that's the, that's the documentary right there. Cause he gonna tell you everything. Oh yeah, I saw this fuck that girl. Shit, he had me to join. I told him no. It did a fucking pass. I think, pass I, think shit. I, I think that. Not saying that's what it was missing. Yeah. But I think that as far as a narr a narrator. Yeah. To end that motherfucker off properly yeah. or whatever, I think that's what it was missing. Well, because they 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 interviewed a lot of Vince people. They didn't interview people that didn't. The outside really people, yeah. Even Bret Hart was kind of walking it, and Bret don't get. He never give a fuck about shit. But yeah. even he was walking that thin line, like praise events. Hulk Hogan was praise events. Yeah. Nigga, uh, Bruce Pritchard was praise. Like they even asked yeah. Bruce Pritchard, like, "Have you watched some of the episodes?" He's like, "Yeah, it's, it's it's trash." You guys, you guys did it where like you guys was like talking shit about Vince and making him look bad, but you guys are not. You guys didn't ask questions. Uh, he was like telling him like his wife had cancer and Vince got his wife the, the best, best care. care. Yeah, yeah. And now they told her she was only going to survive two years and now it's been 20 something years. Yeah. He was like, you guys are not getting shit like that. You guys are just getting like shit to, to bash him. So it's like you're getting people that's on Vince's side. Like you're not getting the, the other people to make it like the way you wanted the juicy shit. But, no, but even. even no, you don't like Vince. Shut up. <laughs> Even no. the fact that he said that about, like, when I did hear the part when he said about his wife, like, y'all not showing everything that he does. But don't get me wrong. I don't have an episode that just says the shit, the good shit that Vince do. It's nothing there that says that. And that's why I'm saying, like, it's the documentary could have, 
could have been better. The ending could have yeah. been like even man, the Sable the shit. Why I fuck with Vince? Like I dude. didn't know Sable was sued him. Oh, I yeah, didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. And then she came yeah, back right. to work. Yeah. yeah. She came back to work the, the whatever that was, next that's week. That's public record. Probably became a hoe again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I didn't know that. Secretary all this shit. <laughs> oh, I, nigga, yeah. I knew that one. I didn't know that. Yeah. That was on the fucking uh, all the fucking documentaries on the fucking uh, WWE no, network. Nah, that was online. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like yeah. So I would actually want to break down that. that yeah. That'd that be one. cool. Yeah. yeah. My cut the shit going to Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, man. They don't know how to argue. <laughs> <laughs> they going back there like, come on, now. like we know, like I see what it's leading to, but like Xavier Kimball saying the same shit. <laughs> I don't know if y'all call like, yo. You know you fucked up and you can't like you trying to lie and Kofi dumb ass not catching it. Uh, like nigga, just suck this nigga. <laughs> give, give him trouble in paradise. But what I really think, I think they went for like a big a big E intervention. Yeah, it shit, is. You know? Big E gotta come. And back. then Big E is gonna make it worse. Yeah. So Big E go come back. But he yeah, got to. That whole new day breaking up shit is taking too long. Break these motherfuckers up. Because the, the new day, the new new day is in NXT. Yeah, for real. Yeah, uh, 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 uh the young OG and the fucking uh, show no, and, uh Cedric, Cedric, Cedric Alexander. Yeah. Oh man, don't do that, nigga. How you been watching them? Actually, yo, know, ever since Young OG been out of out of the, like championship competition, he kind of been falling off. Nah, but that that name with them too, that's just cool. You got you got to look into that. My flowers are going to Jada Parker and um, Lola Vice. That's my new favorite tag team in NXT right now. Even though they Jada Parker walked out yeah. on her. Uh, I think they gonna get back together some that kind of ass way. Ass was ass in. Oh, <laughs> I was like, "Ooh wee," and she's like, "That's twice." I'm done with your ass. <laughs> and then she remind me of every black Puerto Rican For real. girl from the east side. I think they gonna get back together some kind of way. So hopefully they. My thing is they get back together, get cool, and fucking um, they have a match with Jada. I mean, they have a match with Jade and Bianca. I see that shit happening. Because I think she'd be like, "Hey, like I know I walked on to you last week, but look, we have a chance to face the uh, women's tag team champions and blah blah blah. Yeah. I got you this week or something, and then next week, fucking Lola Vice walk out on Jada. Something like, yeah. Now that's how I build the story. Uh-huh. But then the tag team, then the big, the big, um, like conclusion it could be a, a title opportunity. Yeah. Can My, you imagine like Bianca and fucking Jada Parker just in the match and then everybody? They going should do crazy. a WrestleMania stare where they just interview. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even wrestle. Just stand there for about three minutes or for so. Real. Just, just get just like let the cameras just pan around. <laughs> pan around. Yeah, just pan around. No. Show, show Bianca big ass yeah. titties <laughs> and Jade's. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. My flowers going to NXT. I like uh, the new direction they're going in. You know. Going to the, the network television, new belts, new logos, new logo, just make, making this shit look like a real threat for SmackDown and Raw now. Nigga, even the logo is black now. Yeah, nigga, <laughs> I'm telling you, Shawn Smack Michaels, Shawn Michaels, know what he doing? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Well, they did that. Well, not they did that, but the fact that they went black and silver and they going to Vegas. Mm-hmm. Are they they in Vegas, right? Well, they haven't made it, but they they yeah, going to Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the the Raiders. The colors, yeah. <laughs> like you know, but that's tight though. Yeah. Pause. Did y'all see uh, <laughs> this nigga? <laughs> Did y'all see see a fuck with the old school Shawn Michaels outfit, referee outfit? <laughs> and then Triple No, the but the funny shit is Triple H is like, I don't think he might. It's fine. Yeah. And then Shawn coming in like, no, oh. what is going on? Yeah. You can't have that here. <laughs> He was like, he no, 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 not the shorts, the hat. <laughs> <laughs> no, when he said no, you can't have this here. Triple H said, I told you he was gonna say no. <laughs> like Triple H just turned his back on fucking CM Punk. Hey, 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 you know what? I know we about to end the show, but Triple H is funny. <laughs> he funny as fuck. Triple H is funny as fuck, man. <laughs> and, and I think that, that that dynamic going into this new era, like it's fun, and they keep doing this shit. They no fails. Yeah, yeah, they, they got, got it. it. Sean Michaels and Triple H duo can't fail. For real. My flowers is going to Trick Williams for being the only black wrestler that's actually got some momentum <laughs> right now. You tripping. In the last three months, WWE have not put over no black wrestlers. Oh, my. This nigga been watching the fucking woke black yeah, podcast yeah. people. Man. I'm just saying. Somebody, somebody Yo, you but, send me that shit. I'm like, okay. But, but, but look know. at the black, the black 
um, people in wrestling right now. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're not over, but you see a lot of black uh, representation. Yeah, well, what do you mean not over? You got, you got, you got Jay you, Cargill, yeah. Bianca, this is a yeah, tag, tag team. Yeah, tag team. Yeah, three months. Which means they just have the titles, titles back. back. On, a, on a PLE, they have not wrestled. They haven't had a black person on a PLE in three months, or more than, or more than three months. But the last time they was... They won the title, right? When the last time you watched the PLE and be like, oh, damn, it's no black. Yeah. Like, you have to have somebody actually bring that up to you for you to realize it wasn't no. Like, nobody gives a f- If the pay per view was good, okay. I give a fuck. God damn it. I give a fuck. It ain't no black representation. I hate that, but, but it is. That. I'm no, just saying. I'm that was, just saying. No, I, I said my fly was going to trick wheels but, for being the only black wrestler that got some. No, nah, because I, I know where you got the shit from. You got the shit. Let me do my motherfucking shit. They were wrong. I don't care. What they Xavier say. was just one. He said a funny no, no black over, person never over, won. Nigga, he got a title down there too. He lost how many times? He got a title. He, he got the he Ob- got the uh, over over a U, uh, UFC. I yeah, mean, UFC, the North American NXT. title. Yeah, yeah, they all need NXT. NXT is black. Man, that is. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so the lower card is all niggas. No, but no, that lower card nigga, it's championships, nigga. And then on the main no. card, nigga, what black superstar do you see going for a title? There isn't but, one. But he said he said black he said black wrestlers are not over. Carmelo Hayes has it's been getting a match every fucking yeah, week. Yeah, every week. Bianca Belair Jay's been there every week. Jaden Parker is there all the time. Like, Jayden what Parker are you talking about? Huh? She's Mexican. Oh, now she's now she Mexican. Okay. She plays soccer. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Not but see. No, but it, but they, they did they did do some correction. That's they, like they did do a lot of correction. You just starting to see like them niggas like, hey, we haven't been fucking with the niggas like that. They literally it looked like they, that's why they made. When have we had fucking a host for pay per view besides May, uh, WrestleMania? Huh? When are, they don't have hosts like that for pay per view. What the fuck is Jay and Bianca doing? They host it. Normally it's the Miz. Yeah. What Normally it's the Miz. It was WrestleMania and SummerSlam. It's the Miz. Regular huh? pay per views don't have hosts. So now you so got you Bianca. Hate, so you yeah. hating that they host it? I'm confused. What are you so, talking about? So you get the hate out of your blood. No, I'm trying to understand okay, what you're well, saying. I'm going to explain. Just uh-huh. get yeah. the hate out of your yeah. blood. Yeah. Educate, you, niggas. You I'm, I'm trying hate. to understand this it shit. It wasn't okay. hate. I said WWE seen what was seen the, pl- the platform. They might have seen the same YouTube page I seen. Uh-huh. And it was like, oh, yeah, we got to do some auto correction. Cause something it, we we not we haven't been fucking with these niggas, <laughs> so we gave them we gave them no. We only found that it was hosted last week. Um, number one, wait, wait, wait. Number one, Here we go. Number one, Here we go. Jade Here we go. is from AT. Is he from? She from Atlanta, right? Number one, okay. Number two, Jade is always. She's been promoting that she's doing meeting greets out there before this whole she do meeting shit. greets everywhere. No, no, she, she just do- did fanatic fest. Oh my did god, did she not? Can you listen? Should she not do a meeting? Who, did, who didn't who did do it? Okay, so what are you saying? Jade is oh, she's the only one. She's the only one. Only one what? That's doing a meeting greet out there. She's the headliner. She's the only one that's doing it. She's the only one doing meeting greets. Right now, ATL, yes. She's the only one announced for the When have we ever seen that in, in wrestling? I'm telling period. you what. Can you listen? She's from there. Nigga, right? Listen. Can I can I Everywhere can I go? go can I, can I talk? Can I talk? Can I talk? Can I talk? She's the only one that's doing mean greets as of right now, right? That's official. As, a, as official, yes. Okay. She's from ATL, right? Mm-hmm. She's the hosting thing is it, they're doing the black thing right now. It's in ATL. They're doing the Metro Boom and they're doing the future. Why not have them host? Can I ask you a question? When has WWE had a host on a regular pay per view? And I'm not talking about WrestleMania and SummerSlam. Just answer that. And then when did we find out that Jade was Jade and Bianca was going to host this? Was it two months ago? Was it a month ago? Or was it last week? When did we find out? We found it last week. But how you not know it hasn't been already? Did been- Bad Blood been promoted for a month now, right? That don't mean just because they already Bro, they probably like, already knew I that they was that. having it. You're I trying to make it. You're trying to make this convincing. It's like, oh, I get we that. don't fuck with black people, so let's throw Bianca and I'm them in just there. Saying, this, this this was this was presented, and it looks like all the. So collection. you think that one person that you sent me the video of, they seen his, they seen his page and said, I'm oh, we got to bring person, black people. I'm not saying even though we I'm even though all even though we've been doing this black people thing for I don't know how long, like. We has been praising WWE for all the black talent that they've been doing, all the championships. Like all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, that black people is not has been on the pay per view for two months or three months. Now we've oh, they don't care about black people. 
Like what the no. fuck are y'all yeah. talking what about? Say, yeah. It's about can... to die out because I see it dimming. I see it dimming too. <laughs> like what the I, fuck are y'all it's, talking it's, about? It's, Go to AEW with that shit because they don't have no fucking black people. That fucking Swerve, nigga, they fucking bringing people out. What are you talking Swerve about? Swerve just lost it. Where he been? Take it back. Talking shit about oh, him with Flip hold on, on regular ass fucking shit. And uh, Prince Boo 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 whatever his name. <laughs> and MVP came back. They put him and her business back together and shit like that. When, I when are they in the match? Can I get? Can I? Can I finish? When they been in the match? Can I finish? Like, nigga, Swerve just lost three weeks ago. Okay, when have been? What happened since then? It's been like three weeks. I don't know. Um, it has fact, been more than three fact, people. I mean, fact, more than three weeks. Matter of so. fact, what's the girls? Uh, African girl and whatever. That's RH. Oh, that ain't AEW. They're they owned by the same people. Oh, but NXT is, is owned by WWE, but you don't want to. You don't want to say what NXT. I just gave fucking what you're calling my flowers. No, you're saying. I just gave. Well, we I no. Just gave you said my no, no. Wait. Before you said before right now. You said he WWE. Has been no, you said WWE hasn't had a black people on their pay per views. They have and, and we and we both so we both saw name in NXT. You said, oh, that's a low budget one though. You no, didn't you not say that? Didn't you not say that? Didn't you not say that? Yes or no? Didn't you not say that? Yes or no? Are we on flowers? Didn't you not say that? Answer the question. Are we on flowers? We're not on shit no are more. We We're talking about black people. <laughs> no, fuck no, flowers. No, fuck that. <laughs> because I said no, I'm giving my flowers a trick wins because he's the only one who got momentum. And right? then when we second, said second, before then, T has not been doing, he been doing fight wrestling PD on a regular fucking TV show. He had been wrestling whatever. Even if even the fucking African man that you brought up. With the belt. He ain't performed on no fucking PLE. He hasn't. What are you talking about? He defended his title yeah. on NXT PLE yeah. every fucking time. What Wait, are you talking about? When the last time you defended? The last time you was doing the last PLE? The last time you was doing PLE? Fuck out of here. No, Get the no, fuck no, out of here. But, fuck you and that channel that you sell me. No, they don't make fuck, sense. No, Go over there with them sense. niggas. You're you fired. Get you the fuck out of here. You ain't got a plaque in four months. I just got a plaque. You, the one I got the Bianca four months ago. No, I did. I just bought it. When they won the title. Four months ago. No, last month. That was last month. It yeah. was last month. Yeah. When they won it, was that on, on, on Raw? They won on Bash of Berlin. Yeah. They won at Bash of Berlin? Yes. Yeah. Why the fuck this channel? <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bro. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. That's that's <laughs> our rant for the yeah, day. No, fuck motherf- y'all. No, fuck them. Yeah. And you. Yeah, fuck them too. Nah, nigga, go over there, nigga. Yeah. Fuck you too, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, y'all. We out of here. All right, y'all.